Hello everyone, that manga kid here to do another digital manga review, this time of Dragon Head, the 10 volume Kodansha series by Minetaro Mochizuki. This is one that I believe got a full print release or at least partial print release, I, I think from Tokyo Pop back in the day, but correct me if I'm wrong, because uh, I have seen a couple of these volumes in print. But they're older and well out of print now. Um, and then obviously Kodansha has the digital rights to them. Uh, I don't think this will ever get reprinted, but who knows. Um, Dragon Head is, like I mentioned, 10 volumes long. And I it was part of the Kodansha Humble Bundle in October. Um, so another horror. This one is an apocalyptic... Um, strange <laughs> series that I finished uh, today actually as of recording this. Um, our main character is this boy here on the cover, Teru. I believe he's a middle school student. He is on the bullet train with his entire class, uh, at, like entire grade. Uh, they're coming back home to Tokyo from a school trip. And all of a sudden, everything changes. The, the train, uh, the bullet train crashes. Um, so he wakes up surrounded by the dead bodies of his, all of his classmates. And he's in this tunnel that is completely closed off from the outside. And he's stuck there. And he doesn't know what he's going to do. Doesn't know what happened. Why the crash happened what's going on in the outside world. He's just stuck in this tunnel. Uh, he does meet two other people. Um, and it, you know, starts off with them stuck in this tunnel for quite a while. And at the beginning, I was like, okay, how long can this story possibly go for 10 volumes stuck in this tunnel? Um, but basically, this is a whole series about trying to figure out what happened to the world. Um, you know, these three middle school kids are stuck in this tunnel and they're like, is this an isolated incident? Are we, like, people are going to come rescue us, right? But then, you know, slowly the mental state starts unraveling when you're stuck in the dark for so long. Um, and you know, they slowly kind of start trying to piece together their memory right before the crash and trying to figure out if this isn't, like I mentioned, an isolated incident or if there's something bigger going on outside. Um, and yeah, it's a whole kind of apocalypse story about how a bunch of different chain of events have caused things to just hit the fan. Um, it's a little bit confusing, not gonna lie, but I think that, honestly, I think that it just lends itself to the story and the characters because of the fact that, and maybe this is just an excuse, I don't know, but I feel like, honestly, you're following the characters themselves who have no idea what's going on, and so the whole time, you as the reader also don't really know what's going on. You're trying to piece together all of these events and figure out how they're all related if they're at all related, um, and the whole time you're just like, why, why is this happening? How did this happen? What started it? Um, and I guess that's just how it goes, because if you were in that situation, you know, and, and lines of communication were gone, and there was no, you know, news, there was no government left, there was nothing left, to tell you what happened, of course you wouldn't know. So it makes sense that as the reader, you know, following these characters, you you don't know what happened. You don't know how it happened um, and if it's going to be fixed. Um, so I guess that's an excuse you can offer up. Uh, but for the kind of a lack of understanding of what's going on, um, but all in all, very entertaining, extremely psychological. It is a, 
it is graphic. Like there's violence, obviously, because when when things go to hell, you know, people, the the worst in people emerges when when there's a, a emergency, um, in this kind of at, on this scale, uh, and so there is definitely assault, uh, sexual assault. There is definitely violence. Um, and so be aware of that going into this if you're planning on reading it. But, um, yeah, it's a very, it's, it's so strange because it's almost a very slow pace story while at the same time being very, like the stakes are so high because they're trying to survive. Um, but the story itself is not like a fast go, 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 go sort of thing, which is very interesting. Um, but yeah, it's, I really enjoyed it. It was uncomfortable at points, but I guess like that's the whole point is that the world is ending. Of course, you're going to be feeling uncomfortable with how humanity is reacting to, to tragedy and, um, displacement of their entire society um this was written also i guess i should mention this was written in the 90s uh from the mid 90s and then the final volume i believe was released in japan in 2000 so it's a very interesting look at you know apocalyptic scenarios uh that were written you know now 20 year 25 ish years ago um but honestly i think it holds up to be completely and utterly honest um, you know, despite the lack of, like, obviously smartphones and stuff, I think that this series held up very well for something that was written, um, you know, like I said, like 25, 26 years ago. Uh, I'm going to show you some of the art. This one is... It's not horribly graphic. Like, it doesn't, like have brains and guts and stuff everywhere. There's a lot of blood, um, but there's really not so much. I guess there's a little bit of like body horror a little bit later on, but it's not super overly graphic. Um, I will say that the later part of the here's some of the art it's very it's very you know reminiscent of 90s um horror series at the time which i enjoy i i don't mind this sort of art um yeah i it was very captivating i think this is one that i will definitely have to read again because i just don't i don't think i got all of it um I, I just don't know that i uh understood everything that it was trying to say and so i feel like it would benefit from a reread but anyway um yeah the art's really good if you like older horror manga style um but yeah, Dragon Head, highly recommend it. Like I said, I know there are at least a few of them that are in print, um, but I, I feel like the whole thing was printed, but I could be wrong on that. Um, so it isn't impossible to find at least, you know, some of it physically if, you're, uh, if you are interested and, and vehemently against digital manga, but you can get the whole thing, the all 10 volumes digitally through Kodansha uh, if you are interested in reading it. I would highly recommend reading it. It is an interesting apocalypse story um, with some interesting commentary on the human psyche um, and darkness in particular and, and the darkness of humanity and, and our potential um, to, you know, slip into darkness when there is, when there's stressful situ when we're put in stressful situations. Um, yeah, there are good people in this story. Not very many, but there are some good people. Uh, there are also a lot of horrible people. But, um, yeah, it's an interesting 
interesting story to say the least. I am glad I read it. I will definitely be rereading this at some point because I really think that I just didn't grasp the full uh, intention of it, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, if you've read Dragon Head, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. If you've read any other uh, horror manga that are similar to this that you would like to recommend, I would love to hear it as well. Thank you for watching.